Hello friends, good to see you again through this video. Today I wanted to talk about uh, this topic. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine, says the Lord. So this is a verse from Isaiah chapter 43, verse 1 and 2. Uh, I wanted to give an example. Let's say we have a toddler or like we have an infant child like who's like one year old, right? So when you leave that child in the hands of a stranger, the baby cries, the baby begins to cry and it, uh, it gets anxious, right? But the moment the baby sees the father or the mother, it, is, uh, it becomes quiet and also it feels uh, safe in the hands of the father and mother. This is quite natural for any, you know, we all would have had that emotions when we were uh, like a little child. So we always felt secure when our parents are our own or when we are in, in the protection of our parents. So the Lord is doing the same thing in our life. He's saying the same uh, words here. Being a heavenly father to all his children, to you and me, he says, fear not for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. See, this is how he gives the introduction. The introduction itself establishes the relationship between our Lord and us, right? He's, he's trying to say, he's trying to show who he is to us. He says, but now, thus says the Lord, he who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel. So Jacob is the inheritance, right? Like, you know, of uh, the Lord. And, uh, you know, through Jesus Christ, we have also been made the joint inheritors. And that is why he is saying to you and me today, fear not, for I have redeemed you. Yes, not for this worldly life, but I have redeemed you for the eternal life, which is more important than this earthly life, right? And then he says, I have called you by my name. You are mine. And then he says, when you pass through the waters now he's talking about what we have to endure in this world like when we follow him when we have been called when we have been chosen by the lord or when we have been uh, redeemed by the lord so we have to walk in the journey right like you know we have to go through the race so as we continue the journey in christ what happens Sometimes we face issues, not sometimes, you know, most of the time we may face issues because we are up against a, a, a worldly environment, which is completely against what the Lord wants to do, right? Uh, because uh, the way the Lord wants you and me to live in this world is completely different from what the world thinks. And that is why when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. You know, sometimes in our life, we have to go through the waters. You know, we may be praying that we should not cross a water, water in the sense like some big obstacle. For example, the Israelites people, when they came out from Egypt to, uh, towards the land of uh, Canaan, right? What happened? They had to cross Red Sea and they had to cross River Jordan. So they encountered two water obstacles that they had to literally cross. So today, water could be like an obstacle that we face in our life as we are also heading in a journey as in, as we are going in the walk with the lord sometimes we have to overcome obstacles that may look like water as if like we won't have any chances to go through it but when we stay in faith when we remain under his shadow when we know for sure that the lord is is holding our arms what happens He's the one who's going to divide that waters for us and he will definitely lead us through that problems and he will help us to overcome the obstacles. And then he says, when you pass through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. And when you walk through fire, you shall not be burned and the flame shall not consume you. You know, just imagine, my dear friends, why we should, en why we encounter such problems in our life, you know, because the Lord says that he has chosen me, that, uh, that I am his ch child. And why should I face trouble? Why should I go through difficulties? Because Jesus made it very clearly. John chapter 16, verse 33, he says like this, right? In this world, you will have tribulation. So because we follow the word of God, because we walk in the ways of the Lord, definitely we are going to face opposition. Because as I said, the world is against the ideals of 
what the god's word say right what what the principles of god's word says the world is against it like you know the world operates in a different way it doesn't want to follow the way of the lord so that is why when we live in the world and when we you know we may face oppression we may face a face like isolation in the workplace you know there can be a lot of uh, you know uh, problems that we encounter because we have been true to the lord because we want to walk the right way we want to take the high road right so what happens these things will lead us into a situation of trouble so it is at that point of time the lord says don't be discouraged instead fear not he says you don't need to be worried because i have redeemed you and i have called you by name you are mine and i am with you i am with you always even you go through even you cross the water even you cross any obstacle even you feel like as if you are in the midst of the fire it will not burn you says the lord so that is why we may, we should not give up our courage we should not give up our faith at any point of time but we should always be a witness for him because we know the lord is there within us that's what it says in first john chapter 4 verse 4 it says little children you are from god and have overcome the world for he, he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world see the lord is always with us he's always present with us in the form of holy spirit who resides within us and when he when we allow him to lead us when we allow him to lead us and uh, control our emotions and control our feelings and what happens he gives us the victory and he gives us the courage and he gives us the courage and strength to face a situation and to overcome an obstacle so when we don't allow him to operate that is when we feel weak because we tend to handle a situation in our flesh or in our own strength but god says when we allow him to operate when we lead the holy spirit to take control of our situation he will direct us he will give us the right words to speak and he will also help us to stay calm and peaceful even though sometimes people may try to trigger us and people may try to get us into some uh, you know fight or quarrel right but the holy spirit will help us to maintain that calm and gentleness so that we would be able to overcome that situation just imagine people like shatrak meshak abed nego if you read in the book of daniel chapter 3 right so we saw them they've been cast into the fiery furnace for the sake of not worshiping an idol because they were they 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 said you know that they cannot worship anybody except the lord right and because of that they had to face the trial they have to face the trouble and they were thrown into the fiery furnace but in in spite of that the lord protected them and it is at that situation the glory of god manifested through their lives so that all the other people also came to know about the you know greatness of the lord so today my dear friends the trials and that the, the tribulations that you and i we are going through for the sake of the lord because we have been true to the word of god or because we want to honor the lord if we have been in a disadvantageous situation or if we have been in a cornered situation we don't need to be worried because the lord says fear not i have redeemed you and i have called you by my name you are mine but 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 you do not need to worry because whatever the situations whatever the troubles and tribulations that you and i we are going through the lord says his presence is always with us and he will give us a rest because when his presence goes with us definitely he will lead us into the paths of righteousness and also he will give us the peace and he will give us the rest so that we won't be like kind of anxious we don't need to be uh, so tired we don't need to be restless but we can be sure that the lord will never leave us and he will never forsake us so as we step into this december 2019 you know when we started this year there might be so, so many uh, things that we would have, we would have thought about you know that could be a lot of surprises that happened you know unexpected things that could have happened and we may also have some fear what is going to happen in the next upcoming year how is going to be my future you know we may have a lot of uncertainties questions and uh, you know confusions but the lord says fear not you don't worry about anything because i have redeemed you and i have redeemed you i have called you by your name he, god knows each and every one of your name and he knows exactly what is the plan he is going to have for you what is that purpose that he has for your life and without fulfilling that purpose without you know accomplishing the plan and the purpose in your life he is not going to take you away from this world so we you and i we can be confident when we walk in the on the path of the lord each and every step 
is ordained by the Lord. So he orders our step and he has already predestined what we are going to do in the next stage, next stage and next step. So that is why we can be you know, assured. This is a great assurance the Lord is giving because as a creator, as our creator, he says, you don't need to be feared of anything. You don't need to be afraid of anything because I have already redeemed you for the eternal life. I have called you by name. You are mine. And even in this world, when you go through the situation, obstacles or uh, problems, issues, I am always going to be there with you. I am going to be the one who will strengthen you to overcome. And that is what First John chapter 4 verse 4 says. The one who lives within us is greater than what we are going facing uh, you know, outside from the world. So we have that greater force lives within us. We have that the Holy Spirit who lives within us, who is capable of helping us to overcome any situation that we face in this life. May the Lord bless this word. You all have a blessed and a happy day. God bless you.